Yeah, so uh, we were both discussing our desire to work in an office building. Currently, we both work in retail four to five days a week. Which is pretty far removed from an office building. It is. Uh, and I should say as well, in our position in retail, it's not strictly one thing that we're doing. So we, we're sort of a, a jack of all trades within that job. Everybody sort of does everything. Yeah. So there's not a lot of consistency or routine, which would is the opposite of what you would have in an office building usually. And for whatever reason, I, I think that there's an appeal to working in an office building, like having that, that sort of organized workspace, going there, doing something that's, that's consistent, has a level of consistency. Like this is a project and I'm gonna do this all day and I don't get interrupted. Having the routine, like, yeah. right? Yeah, and so what I was saying before we started filming, when I was growing up, I grew up in a family that was really disorganized. There was never a place for anything and, and the house was never clean except when people came over and things like that. But for me, I was always very independent compared to my family. I was really, I was the kid who wanted his own fridge, his own mini fridge in the room. And I wanted to live in like the pool house. We never had a pool house, but if we did, I was always the first person to say I wanted to live in it. I would always have like the little, little boxes where you can organize with all the little drawers. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't have things to organize, I would get things just to put in there. I really loved the idea of organization. However, growing up in my life, I feel like I've taken on an attitude that is more opposed to that almost. Like if I've had this desire to to secure spontaneity in my life. Yeah, to, to be able to do things in my life just when I feel like it or to the degree that I feel like it. I don't want to stop doing something because I only allocated two hours to it if I feel like I can put more into it. So, and I think this is a struggle that a lot of people have. They say, on the one hand, I want to be consistent. On the other hand, I want to be free from that. So I think everybody's got a struggle between the routine and the fear that that will just become monotonous and boring and, and freedom, but a lack of security. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like it's the same way with me. I feel like there's, uh, there's something really appealing uh, about having a job in an office for a business yeah. and feeling like the work you do will matter more. The independent thing that you mentioned is a big thing. I, I always feel like I work best alone. Um, I do too. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so what I think as well, a way that this especially factors in at this point in our life is that, and also in our jobs, and I think this is the case with many jobs, and it may very well be the case ultimately with a lot of office jobs. I'm not saying that all office jobs are ideal. In fact, a lot of them are probably pretty terrible, but in our job, our job is very inconsequential and it's repetitious. So just ringing people at a register or storing the state of the store back to its original state. So restocking things and facing things, it's ultimately a task that it doesn't improve upon anything. It's just reordering and putting things back in the same spot again and again. And it leads nowhere. Whereas with an office job where you are working on projects, let's say you work at a good company like Google, you'll work on a project and then that project will be completed and that project will go places or it will succeed at something and then you move on to the next project and you're moving on. Yeah, I think that is a big factor in this because the way that what we do is repetitious and doesn't lead anywhere. Well, that's something that a robot can do and a robot will be doing in the future. Yeah. However, working for a company like Google, like any tech company or something like that, that's entirely the opposite because what you're doing is you're you're on the forefront of that whole industry. You're not it's not repetitious task. It's actually breaking new ground for technology. And it's it's not a job that I mean, well, you can argue the AI replacing it eventually, but for the moment, it's not a job that's replaceable by robotics. It's not a job that it can just be done in the same repetitious manner. Mm -hmm. Any tech company, you're gonna be on the forefront making something new. You're, you're doing something that isn't just a function that is automatic. And here's the other thing, you have a function. So at our yeah. job, we both do the same things. The only difference between one person's position and another is really the amount of time they serve. So the yeah. only reason a supervisor is more capable than a low level employee would be that they know the store better or they know how retail stores work or, or whatever store, it's not necessarily retail. But that's generally the case with a lot of jobs. So in this, in the sort of idea of an office job that we're thinking about, each person has their own projects or, or own area of the project that they're working on. They have almost a specialty in doing that. So they are going to be working on that. And not just anybody can come in and equally do the same work. But you do your job. And I think when you have that sort of division of efforts, you have people more enthused because people know what they're working on and they're more invested in that thing. Whereas in a job like ours, 
they're not entirely sure what they're doing. They show up and then figure out what's going on from there and it sort of shifts throughout the day. And I think that causes people to care less essentially. And I really want to work in a place where people do care and everybody's efforts are going towards something. Otherwise, your efforts can be misused by other people. But we are just talking about some hypothetical job and I don't think either of us will be working at Google anytime soon. Yeah. But the, the idea that we're getting at is a job that is, is of more of a purpose and has a routine. The, the routine is, is the aspect that is very appealing, I think, mm. for both of us. Yeah, yeah. And just, just the general like mystique of working in an office, something about parking your car, wearing a suit, and walking into a shiny metal building that's several I, stories yeah, tall. That's, exactly. that, that just has an appeal to me. It, it, does, it's, it does for me as well. It's, it's almost like it's, it's I've always been it's somebody... A, it's, it's got an aesthetic. Yeah, it, there's always mm -hmm. been an appeal to me to like, I, I really enjoy going up and down staircases, no matter where I'm at, uh, whether I'm running them or walking them, I actually just always enjoy staircases. I enjoy parking garages. I like walking through office buildings. If I'm just walking through some area just to get from point A to B and I see an office building that doesn't seem like, you know, it's a highly restricted building, I'll walk through it. Yeah, yeah, the urban area kind of thing. It's it's yeah. It's nice. Um, and going off of your, your stairs comment, like even like a shiny nice elevator. Yeah. Is is cool. Thing. Just sitting in there in like a mirrored elevator even and you could see yourself wearing the suit. I don't know. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Something, something magical about that, so. I think that's an important part of, of any aspiration, too, is to have an image of what you're trying to, to get towards. Mm -hmm. um, and again, to compare the job that we have now, I mean, there was no, I don't think there's any point when people go to work at a retail job or jobs of similar status where they think, you know, I've always really wanted to be behind a register or I've always really wanted yeah. to, to see, you know, how product comes out of boxes and goes on the shelves. I don't think there's a, a lot of mystique behind that. No. Uh, whereas I think most positions that people strive for, they have a concept of, of what that'll feel like and what it'll look like. And getting to that point represents a lot in terms of goals and achieving those goals. Yeah. I think the crux of it is the idea of, of achievement. It, it's the idea that what you're doing is going somewhere. I agree. I, I think, yeah. So.